Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You have another video with Dom, what you guys all wanted. Hello. So back to me. Anyways, um, today we are seeing a psychic because we have a lot of questions that we need answered. Amen, sister. What do you want to know? I just want to know if I should stop talking to my ex. Like, I can literally tell you that. <laughs> no, I, I think we need a professional. I think you need pressure on many other ways than that. Oh, if you guys have seen our TikTok drama recently, you would understand. No, I'm in all seriousness, very much same. Like, you know, career stuff. Am I gonna marry Jacob L. Lordy? Uh-huh. Yeah. Michael B. Jordan. Like those are like the things that I kind of have queued up for the psychic today. Got it. I'm glad to hear that. And we were originally introduced to this woman through our friend Kit Keenan. Anyways, if you guys are interested in any of this, I'll have all of her information linked below. She's really just like funny. I've had She's calls so her. cute. She's so cute. And um, already some things that she uh, said on the intro call. Just the intro call of her like naming something. I was no, like, that was weird. That was there was as a guy in my life, and she like. Was just like, like for example, it just gave all that. It was very yeah. weird. Yeah, and she just even the names, some of the names Word. she was using. I was like, wait, you don't know that that's actually my father's name, yeah, or that it's my birthday today. Yeah, I know. Anyways, we're gonna get on the Zoom now. Um, very excited. We're very open. We'll see where this takes we're us. Very, I mean, at the like, there, <laughs> we'll take anything. <laughs> Literally <laughs> anything that but, yeah. can come our way. So your aura. So I'm seeing pink in your aura because I'm picking up on there's a grandmother figure that stays around you, if that makes sense. So um, it's feeling very maternal or like her feel is a very maternal feel. So I don't know if there's more on your mother's side. She, feel, she feels very religious. Does that make sense for you? This so is, someone that was like- I'm like, you're blowing my mind. Yeah. My, so I'm half Filipino and my mom's mm -hmm. grandmother, she lives in the Philippines for half the year and stays with us the other half of the year. And she's like mm -hmm. the most Catholic lady you will ever meet in your whole entire life. Uh, you also tend to absorb a lot of people's stuff as well. Like you take on other people's stuff. So that said, I feel like you're, you're very much like an empath. So a lot of what I was explaining to you guys before, just my process and how I'm very empathic and I feel people, I feel like you're the same way. So you absorb a lot of people's energies and you also tend though to own people's stuff if that makes sense like you take it on for yourself or you're the type of person that'll like lay in bed and then like worry about everybody like oh is this person okay or is that okay or da, da 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 I feel like it's um but I feel like the message in this is basically just to remember just think about yourself just you know remember that you need to fill your cup as well with you I feel like it was always, you were always a leader. Like you always um, spoke up for those that couldn't speak for themselves. I feel like I just, I see that with you. You're laughing. I'm laughing yeah. because yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, because that that's always been, it's like a cookie cutter thing with your soul. It's almost like, you know, when people were like oppressed, like you would be like, no, this isn't the right thing. Like, let's go. No, I'm going to speak up for what's right. And I'm going to go against the grain. I'm going to do this and I'm going to, no, we're gonna get this message out there. And I just, I feel like that's, that's your soul. Like always doing what's right and fighting for people and fighting for, and that's even part of why you put yourself like on the back burner. It's always like, no, I gotta help people. I gotta get through this. We gotta da da da. There's a bigger message, there's a bigger. Do you understand this? I just, I feel like you have this big purpose in life. And I feel like, like I see you fulfilling it. And I feel like um, basically whatever it is that you set your intentions to be. So basically whatever it is that you want, you, you can have. And everything will always work out. Even in the moments that you feel things aren't working out. So you're smiling. Because there's moments where you kind of look up and you're like, okay, am I being punked? Is Ashton Kutcher coming out right now? Like what's <laughs> happening to me? right? But it kind of helps us just stay more mindful of the words that we speak and whatever we put out there, like I said, into the universe. So, you know, catching yourself in the moments where you're like, oh, nothing ever works out. And you're like, you're kind of flip-flopping it. Like everything works out. You know, we all do it. We're human. I just did it a couple of days ago. It was like this really nothing. Ever. And I'm like, everything always works. Um, I love your father, your father. I absolutely love him. I feel like he I don't know why the feeling that I have with him is like, he's like a big teddy bear or something. I don't know why. Like, and I feel like he has this laugh 
about like his it's like a it's like um it's like a deep jolly laugh or something it's like does that make sense no it actually is that is very accurate depiction yeah I I love him I love his energy I feel like you and him um I feel like there's like a nice soul connection with you and him. I know a lot of times people are like, well, hello, it's my father, but it's, it's just different. It's on a spiritual level. level. Um, he's a good, he's a really good person. Um, very supportive. Um, just somebody that's very, I want to say like level-headed. He, his energy feels like, um, he always sees like the middle area. He's not very like one-sided, like, oh, this is this and that's it. Like he weighs everything out. Does that make sense? That is like yes. he's good, he's good to go to 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 you know for advice or I, I just like that he sees the whole picture and things. So he's a great support system. I, I just I love him. I'm like, I love your dad. Um, your mom, same thing. I feel like um really good person. I feel like she is a little bit more um she's a little bit more like grounding or something your mom she's a little bit more um does she love butterflies or nature or yes, anything like, with that yes like plants all of that yeah I see her like butterflies all around her and nature and I just like like you just said like plants and flowers yeah. I just feel like it's very connect it with her. This is interesting too. You actually have a Native American guide. He's He has almost like this medicine man type of feel to him. I wouldn't be surprised if there was ever a point that you ever wanted to go into medicine or if you ever wanted to do something with that, like healthcare. Does that make sense for you? Yes. My whole family is in healthcare. Ah, like, see, literally that's Literally entire family. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like you're you know, your direction is, is, is a little bit different, but it's healing in another way. So you're not physically, you know, going into the medical field, but you're doing it in another way, just your presence, your words. Um, um, and I feel like that's, that's very healing. Mackenzie, this is so funny and don't laugh, but you know what I keep hearing? I keep hearing this song, Barbie. It's a Barbie world. I don't know why. <laughs> Yeah. I, I can think of a <laughs> Yeah. It's a Barbie world. And a Barbie <laughs> I keep hearing that. I don't know why. I just keep hearing it. But it's not not in a negative way, like in oh, a yeah. fun and enlightened way, right? I don't know maybe if this is kind of like your thoughts or your feelings lately, just kind of how your your perspective is changing on the world and kind of looking at things differently and just kind of going, okay, I'm going to look beneath the surface. Like there's more to this. Does that make sense? I feel like, you know, for me, I feel like this is a transformative year for you or just like where your soul is trans, um, transforming or you're going through this evolving period. So it's, you're, you're going through a change, I think spiritually, where you're opening up to different things and seeing things differently. Like over this next year, I feel like your friendship circles are gonna change. Um, if you haven't noticed it already, just certain people are just going to kind of step back or you may step back and it's not a negative thing. It's, it's a good thing. Um, there's going to be people that are just a little bit more evolved kind of coming onto your path that are going to help you and just open up to different things and just seeing things differently. Do you ever want to work with children or do something with children? Does this make sense for you? I don't think I, I don't think so. Or it's Okay. I keep seeing a little boy around you. Oh, I have a little brother. Oh, you have a little brother. Okay. Well, maybe this is the child. Yeah, but I feel like you're very good with kids. Mm-hmm. I'm I just really feel involved like in my niece's life, like very involved. See, maybe that's what this is. I just feel like you're very good with children. Oh, is there a connection with someone being a Leo or August? The month I'm of a August? Leo. My birthday is in August. That's why I say, okay, so Leos tend to be better with children. So they're good with kids. They work good with kids. So that's why. So that's just, okay. just a bell. Yeah. Huh? What did she say? Kenzie is, always talks about how she would love to be a mom. Like way later. I like look forward to it. Dom dreads it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I definitely, you're definitely going to be a mom. I see you with two kids. Um, hmm. 
That's interesting. It's funny because I keep hearing the word twins. Listen, um, the twin thing, it doesn't mean that it's literal. It may just have been like a little, just a validation thing because it's something that's on the back of your mind or, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like there's something with twins, but it could be Irish twins. You've heard of Irish twins where it's like back to back. Whatever it is, I feel like, you know, you will have children. I see two. I feel like they'll be healthy and that's the most you know, important part. It'll be at a time in your life when you're ready, when it works and all that other stuff. That's what I feel with that. Um, do you know what or does that make sense or email? Yeah. Who's that? My uh, ex-boyfriend's name starts. Oh, all right. Hold on a second. <laughs> no. You see with him, he just had a lot of walls up. Like he didn't um, a little bit of like stubbornness, which I feel like we all could be a little stubborn. Does, does that make sense for you? Yeah. Um, I definitely feel like you guys had a past life together. I feel like you guys were actually married once before in a past life. I don't know if that makes sense for you. Mm -hmm. Um, November, what is November? Any connection with him with November or anything with November Not or the number first. 11 or the number 11? It could be the number 11 or seeing 1111, the number 11. I keep seeing that. Um, not that I can think of right now. That's okay. So just, just make note of it. Um, he just has to, I just feel like he has a lot of stuff to just do for himself or he has to realize. You know what it is too with him? I feel like he doesn't fully believe in himself or something. It's yes. like his confidence is just not completely there you know there was a there was a little small part of him as well that he almost didn't feel like he deserved you yeah does that make sense mm -hmm. and he um I just feel like this journey is about him just really fully connecting with himself and loving himself I feel like that's that's another reason why you guys had a cross like you know, go separate ways. But you are just a smidge of hair tad sprinkle more evolved than him. And that's not in a condescending way. Just like I explained to you before about the grade system, just in past lives, right? So just because what I'm saying is it's almost like you're in third grade and he's in second grade. So it doesn't make you better than anybody. It just means that you had an earlier start. It means yeah. now you're in third grade. He just hasn't reached that point yet. Do you see what I mean? So I'm not saying it in a negative way. I just wanted to clarify that. So you are just a little bit more evolved and we all have certain lessons that we have to fulfill or help others with. And that's like our sole purpose. So with him, I feel like you guys needed to go your separate ways. And I feel like you kind of planted seeds and you helped him, you did whatever it was that you could do. And now it's up to him to kind of figure it out. And I don't know, hope that made, I hope that made sense for you. But those conversations were the exact conversations that we always had about like confidence mm -hmm. and like self-love and things like that. I'm smiling right now too, because I feel like with you guys, like I'm looking at the two of you energetically, I keep hearing the word soul sisters. Mm-hmm. Like I'm hearing that song, hey, sister, soul, sister, <laughs> da, 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 da. I keep feeling like soul sisters. I feel like you guys have been together for a very long time, almost like I have your back or you have my back. Oh, who had a small dog? Me. A small dog. You Okay. Anything connected with a T name? Anything with the person with, with around the dog or anything with the dog or anything with a T? What kind of dog is that? What, what kind of dog was Toto? Oh my gosh. My parents have a dog named Dodo. Uh, 22. What's the number 22? So it could be an age, the 22nd, 22, which is February 2nd, 22. I bought a house at 22 and that's when I moved to back to Texas, but that's the only connection I can think of 22. Do you know his name? Is this like a friend of yours? Yeah. Whoever this is, I feel like it's you were friends, but then maybe just kind of keeping at an arm's length or something, or it's like there's negative energy like coming off from this person, or you're just like, I don't know about this. Does that make sense? Yes. I feel like there's a lot of on this person's end, I feel like jealousy or envious, or does that make sense for you? Mm -hmm. I feel as though I need to tell you. I think for you, 
I could see, I could see you being the type of person. It's almost like there's this saying, and I, I'm, I'm way older than you guys, but there's this saying that we used to say when we were younger that I'm rubber, you're glue. Whatever you say to me will bounce off me and stick to you. Do you ever, I don't know if you guys ever heard that, but that was like a saying that my parents taught us. Like, you know, if someone's making fun of you or saying something and it's like, I'm rubber, you're glue. But no matter what, it still like affects us. You know what I mean? Like it's still, even though I said it and then, you know, I would kind of say it that way. It still, it still affected me. It would still kind of, I would hold it in. And I feel like I need to just share with you, you know, another saying that I just heard recently and I loved it. And I actually passed it on to my daughter and I just, and I said it to her that other people's opinions of me are none of my business. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I just needed to tell you that just whatever that means for you. So again, I'm not saying that you're not the type of person to like absorb or take on, or I could see you being very strong in that sense where, you know what, that's your problem. I don't know. But I feel like there may be some sort of like, are you laughing? Cause that's, that's what you yeah. do. <laughs> I'm pretty good at that now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But there is, and I'm not trying to make you second guess that or take or make, no, but I struggle. I still it. struggle with it. I just have had, yeah. yeah. Okay. So this, okay. So I just want to make sure this is resonating. Yeah. So there's still like that little bit of residual that's in there that still does weasel its way in energetically that kind of gets in there. And then you start like thinking it'll yeah. be in the back of your mind. So that's what I want to kind of extinguish. I want to put that out. I want to make it, you know, just kind of remember these words that, you know what, whatever you think of me, it's none of my business. Like that's your problem. You know, you're, projecting or whatever that is that's that's on you so I just wanted to reinforce that for you um you get a lot of messages or intuition or insight a lot of times when you're sleeping I don't know if this makes sense for you or through dreams you'll probably say so like you might wake up and be like oh my gosh or you might have like a lot of deja vu moments does this make yeah. sense like deja vu moments are like, oh my gosh, I think I remember this. Or, you know, I had a feeling about this. So yeah, your guys- I'll think of someone in like out of the blue. Call you. They reach out you. right after. Yeah. Yep. See? So this is your guides. So again, we were talking about guides before we were talking about with Dom. So we'll talk about it with you. So these are your guides that are basically telling you to just trust your gut a little bit more. Like you don't always- and that's a hard thing, right? It's a hard thing to trust our guts. So they're just telling you, trust your gut or just listen to that, that, that inner feeling that you have just on things in general. Um, just building on that confidence within yourself to just be able to say, okay, you know what? Because I feel like, like anybody, and I know I do it even myself, you know, I just kind of second guess myself. I'm like, well, you know, maybe this or whatever, well, I'll just give this person the benefit of the doubt or whatever, maybe it's me or da, 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 da. I feel like just go with your gut a little bit more. You're very intuitive. And, um, oh, you know, another good thing they're telling me to tell you is that you need to start journaling. I don't know if you've ever thought about journaling or writing. I feel like you're really good with writing or the written word or articulating your thoughts or your feelings through writing. I feel like that's really good for you. Start starting to do that. Did I already see you guys already do a podcast. You already do, do that, right? I do. Yeah. Did you, did, are you doing something with her as well, Dom? Uh, we, because so I see, I used to, this is crazy. <laughs> I used to have a podcast. We were like on the same network, but I stopped mine. But we've done a live show together. I see. This is what I'm, this is what I'm, I'm seeing you guys doing something together. Yeah. I feel like this is going to be something that you guys are going to do together, but it's going to be like, and don't take a, please do not take offense to this. I, this is not meaning to sound like uh, degree, like in a negative way or anything like that, but it's going to be like serious topics, like topics of something like with um, not saying anything that you have, they've talked about wasn't serious or wasn't, had didn't have substance. I, I can't put my finger on it. Maybe like current events or something along those lines. Does that make sense for you guys? I'm sorry. I'm smiling because my last podcast was called the uncomfortable podcast. And it was about like ah. serious, like current events, like different topics. Oh, yes. Okay. So I feel like that's good. This is, it's not, and it's not this for me. It's more for you. Like, this is a good thing because it's a validation. Cause I know you guys said that you want to know about the future and like what's going to unfold and what's coming and with work and so on and so forth. 
Um, and I don't even want to, I don't even want to categorize it as work. I just feel like it's, it's your soul purpose, but I feel like that's maybe that soul sister connection between the two of you, because that's the balance. You guys balance one another it just works. I don't know. It just pulls it together. And I know nobody wants to go into the whole thing, especially now. Nobody, I know myself, I'm like anyone even like mentions or breathes the word politics. I'm like, I'm not going in that direction, <laughs> but it's almost going to have like that sort of a feel to it. Not exactly that. Do you know what I mean? It'll have that feel to it, but it'll just be like getting, oh, it's going to be an outlet for people just to kind of like express themselves. I just, I see it. I see whatever this platform is going to be. I just feel like it's going to just do very well. I actually see you doing something in television too. Um, oh, really? Kenzie. Okay. I see you doing something on TV or something with film or being filmed. I see something with that. Not now. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be in a couple of years. You know, it's going to be more when you hit 30. It's going to be later. You are going to do something with a book that may sound cuckoo, crazy, whatever, maybe not, but you're going to do something with a book. I see you writing a book or um, you're going to feel the pull or the urge. And I feel like there's going to be some sort of, I see you writing a book. There's going to be a book for you. That's what I say. Yeah. yeah I don't know if this was ever, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. And it's, it, it'll do well. It's going to be good for other people, but I feel like it's going to be something like for yourself, mm -hmm. something for you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like this is going to be your thing, like your baby. Like this is, I don't know, I keep hearing the word memoir. I don't know why I keep hearing that. Or maybe like a memoir. I just keep hearing those words. Do you know what you name a male? Are you going to say it? <laughs> she does. I do. Who's that? And that's the guy I used to date. Oh, okay. Does he, you still keep in contact with him or did you just yeah, a little see him much. on social media or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I was going to say, I feel like he still has feelings for you or he still, does that make sense? I would, I would believe that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like he's funny. I see him staying in your life. He, I don't feel him being a negative. Can I see his picture? Do you yeah, have his picture? Yeah, While you're getting me his photo, I just want to touch back on you, Kenzie, for a minute. Your guides are telling me that they send you feathers, just so you know. So I don't know if you notice feathers a lot or going forward, you're going to get feathers. That's their way of letting you know that you're on the right path. Oh, I like him. Do I? <laughs> I like his energy. I like his support. I feel like he has your back. I feel like no matter what, I feel like um, very loyal, very honest. Or is he outdoorsy or yeah, something? Yeah, like very outdoorsy. I just, I think, I feel like he's, he's good for your soul. See, what happens is whenever you have like a soul connection with somebody, sometimes, you know, we're on the same path together. And then at times, you know, he might go a separate path and then you might, it's like that why. Eventually you guys will cross paths again. So that's, that's, I don't know, that's basically it in a nutshell. Well, kind of touching on even what I had said earlier, the gentleman that you were yeah. seeing, it's almost like finding that love for himself or like fully loving himself. Do you understand what I mean by that? I see him getting past that. I feel like he's a strong person. Truck. Does he does he drive a truck? No. Or does he like truck? Does he like trucks? Or is he into cars? Did you just have did was this a conversation you were just talking about? Was around cars? Yes. Okay, maybe it's just the validation. Does he really like music? Or is he really into That's music? Right. I feel yeah. like I see music all around him. And then I keep seeing the number eight. Um, almost like an infinity. Does that make sense for you? Yeah, it's my favorite number. And my birthday yeah. today, like January 8th. Oh, okay. So this is the connection between the two of you, by the way. So I just drew, say, see like the infinity. That's, that's your life number. That's one of your life numbers. And I feel like that's the connection with you as well, because I believe you said your birthday was in August, mm -hmm. right? Um, and that's an eight connection. So going forward, these are the eights. So eights are people that are meant to be in our lives. These are our soul connections. Do you see any connection with like me in Nashville or people in Nashville? I'm going to just tell you what I'm hearing and then you can make sense of it. Okay. So I'm hearing, I'm hearing 
uh, yes, you, um, going, but not staying or yes, go and not stay. Does that make sense? Yeah. I feel like you're going to be traveling. Mm -hmm. I see like a lot of traveling around for you. So I feel like traveling, going here, going there. I see that for you. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Was that question geared about like possibly like changing and moving there or staying yeah, there? It's like the only other place I would consider moving. And I just always wondered if I would. The words I'm hearing is not yet, not now. I don't see it. Um, oh, I'm seeing traveling actually to more of like the East Coast as well. Oh, you know what I'm seeing in 2023? I feel like that's going to be a lot more like international travel. Did you ever want to go to England or London? Yeah. I just see you going to London. You never went there yet, right? No. Uh -oh. Yeah, I keep seeing you going to London. I 2024 so within the next like two years see, I see you're gonna end up meeting I see you meeting somebody that's a little bit down the road the guy that I see there's gonna be someone that you're gonna end up meeting and I feel like you're gonna end up meeting him while you're away you're gonna be on a trip and I feel like you're gonna end up meeting this person he's very handsome not to sound superficial I mean he is a beautiful soul too but I see him but he's, he's studying, I don't know if he's studying abroad or he's studying. So again, everything's open to interpretation. Wherever it is, he's studying, but I see him wearing some sort of suit. So I don't know if he's studying a lawyer, could be a doctor, a lawyer, or something with like a suit. So business-like. Do you know a or yeah. a Sam? Who's that? This Is this somebody that sort of like, is a little flirty with you or just yeah. or kind of like likes you or whatever, but it's maybe on your end, there's like no interest. It's more him with you. Does that make sense? I feel like he's doing well though. He's going to do well. He, does he do a lot of TikToks or something? He doesn't, but the mutual friend we met through does. I keep seeing something with TikTok. What does he do? He does like cover band stuff. Like, does he cover other people? Like, yeah, he, he does his own stuff too, but I think he does a lot of cover band stuff. No, he's going to be doing his own stuff. I see him doing his own stuff. Cool. I see you guys remaining friends and it'll be good because it's almost like he'll introduce you to people. I feel like it's, it's, it's the bridge. Like you'll, you'll help him. He's going to help you. I just feel like you guys were put on each other's path for a reason. It may not be so much of like a love connection as far as that goes, but it's more of like a friendship and sort of like one hand washes the other. But I feel like he's going to, I feel like he's going to do well. Yeah. And I just keep seeing this TikTok connection. Maybe that's your message for him. Maybe. And I guess I am actually curious. Do you like see me in the future, like settling down and having a family? Or do you see me mm -hmm. like kind of going the Oprah Winfrey path? I see you having one child. I see you having one child. I do see you getting married. And I see you do. I see you having one child. Guys, we just oh. got off. That was I the craziest thing of my whole life. No, 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 no. Like, like, no. That was, I'm not kidding you guys. You know I like can't stop talking. I'm genuinely right now speechless. Yeah. Because I'm like so blown away with how legit that was. She is just such a beautiful person. Yeah, and really. everything she said was just not only accurate and true, but like shocking. Within the first five minutes of that call, which I'm sure you guys will see, she literally ex es essentially explains like my life. Yo, also her bringing up first off the book with me, anytime anyone, if it's like a prophecy or something, that is like the first thing people say and TV. Yes. And it's also like, I think sometimes people get TV mixed with YouTube, but I do think that's also it's, like could yeah. be something the show like something with us Just, we wanted to do a podcast together forever like literally forever yeah. and it's like even something that I was like thinking about this year that I was just like oh my gosh like I would love to like start that like I think it would be so good and everything and there were just so many things that I'm like how do you she knew what street I lived on she knew yeah which by the way I she would have no idea no idea, no idea. what street you live on she, she my dad she said yeah. my, in the preliminary call when before we like started recording, she was just explaining like how the process works and like how she like reads into things. She literally said my dad's name. Also too with me with the Barbie thing, it's just funny. The Barbie like, thing, lifestyle. but it's also 
It's me. me. It's like funny. Yeah. But like I'm actually a very deep person. I've never yes. been surface level. But in the recent months, I've changed my mind on a lot of things. Yes. Like even things that I was like so, when she's like, oh, you're evolving or whatever. I'm like, there's a lot of things that I'm like, I don't know. There's more to the story. Or actually, not, not as much more to the story as like, I don't want to be so... I want to understand other people's sides, essentially. Yes. Is more of what it is. And, and also like, just changing my mind about things in general, which has yeah. been the past year of my life. And see the middle. Yeah. I don't know. And I think with if we did something together, it would be topical on, like, deep talks that we have with each other. Yeah. It wouldn't be political. It wouldn't be political at yeah. all. Like, if any... When she was talking about, like, being in the middle... Yeah. I was like, honestly, I could see that. Because, like, even, like, how we feel about church, how we feel about... about everything. So many things. Yeah. Friends, like, relationships, like... When she was explaining, we don't have very polarizing views, views in many ways. Yeah, she brought up my dad. I literally get chills and was talking about how he like sees the whole picture, and that is 100% where I get that from. Where he can just explain the whole picture, like even with me, if I don't understand something on a certain thing, I'm like, Hey, can you explain this? Like, yes. I'll ask her because I know her dad said something like about topics. It. So I'm like, Can you explain why yeah. you care about this? Like, or just yeah, even topics that are literally so polarizing yeah. and like ruin relationships and friendships. I will like talk to my dad about it, and we find middle ground, dude. That that was really just one of the craziest things I've ever experienced in my whole entire life. You know what else I thought about when she said eight and there's like the soul connections? That's also everyone that I'm like have like some sort of weird connection with has a birthday with an eight, whether they're born That's on the so eight crazy. or their birthday is August. And also it just was really soul fulfilling in the sense that I don't know. I validating. So validating. That was crazy, guys. I couldn't go see her. Like it was you not crazy. You must see her. You, you must do. We are I'm for sure seeing her again like six months from yeah, now. Yeah, I was thinking about that on my own yeah, schedule. I was like six months from now, I wanna see her again. And tonight, oh my gosh, I'm like, ah see I told y'all, like I'm not toxic when I talk about talking to my ex because I knew It's not about him, it's the I fact that you can't you I just knew there was a, a deeper connection that y'all didn't see on the surface. See, that's why I like her. I love that she saw that. You can you can still that's behave in toxic ways. No, like I that's what I that's personally what I like the most about that call. All right, well we're gonna go anyways. I'll have Laura linked down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yes, you guys, you need to need to need to see her. Wow, love. I can see into the future. You have two choices. You can either be a man or you can be a bitch. And he's like, you can be a man and look yourself in the mirror and say, although that your circumstances were tough and although you're in here now, it's up to you to change. If anybody's going to change, it's going to be you and no one's coming to save you. And that's like an important message for people.